Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. hey. I'm talking about I had my first gym challenge. I had someone come into the gym, a young 19 year old, and challenged me to a submission match and he had no previous training. So I'm gonna show you exactly what happened. But before that, I'll just give a little bit of backstory to it. So, it was a friend who someone who trains at the gym. So he's a regular trainer and uh, who comes to train at the gym. And he was watching me doing training with him. And then afterwards, he asked me, have I ever played tap out before? And I kind of knew what he meant, but I was just, I acted a bit sort of stupid and said, like, what do you mean by tap out? And he basically said about wrestling on the floor and trying to make the other person submit. And the first one to submit um, loses and then they win. So I was like, oh, you mean jujitsu? And he sort of looked at me puzzled and was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I said, yeah, I do jujitsu a lot and all stuff like that. And he said, oh, cool, cool, cool. And then he said, do you reckon you could tap me out? And I said to him, have you had any previous training or just mucking about your mates? And he's like, no, nah, I've had no training at all. He just does boxing. I was like, all right. I was like, yeah, I think I could tap you out. And he was like, no way, no way, that would never happen. So um, basically, because he was bigger than me, I'm about five foot five, and he's about five foot seven, five foot eight, something like that. He thought that there was no way that I'd be able to tap him out especially as he was younger, like I said, he was 18 and I'm 37, so he thought there's no way that little old me would be able to tap him out. The friend who he come in with was laughing his head off, saying that he reckons that me, Will, would be able to tap him out in three minutes. So, anyway, we decided to have a little roll, but obviously I have his friend who trains with me so I wanted to make sure it was going to be a friendly role like so obviously I said to him no striking nothing like that if I get you in the submission and you tap out make anything hurts make sure you tap out straight away and I said I'll do the same as well take the sort of ego out the door because at the end of the day he didn't come across nasty and malicious so I didn't want it to end up into a fight because there's no need for that so I agreed to have a role with him so this is how it started. We slapped hands and spud. Now, I'm not quite sure if you can see, but he went for a little trip there. If you can, yeah, I'll pause it there. So if you can see by my face, I'm actually sort of like, I'm, I'm laughing. So I'm trying to keep it sort of friendly and all that lot, even though you could tell he was quite strong. And when he grabbed me, he was like putting a lot of pressure. So we carry it on, a little pushing and shoving, a little pushing and shoving. I just wanted to get it to the ground as quick as possible. So I went for a little bit of a silly Imanari roll there. Obviously I did pull it off, but I was just trying to get it to the ground as soon as possible. And I quite expected him to just jump on me straight away, which he didn't. So I decided to carry on going for the legs. And then that's when he got me in this typical schoolboy headlock. So as you can see there, I rolled it over quite easy. And as you can see, I'm set perfect up for the guillotine. So I jumped the guillotine, managed to wrap roll with one of his legs and I've got it super tight here. And he tapped out pretty quick. And then swore, we're bloody hell, but had a big smile on his face. So again, it was all sort of uh, playful and that, but he didn't have it. He wanted another one, he wanted a rematch. So, we decided to go again. I gave him his shoes, he grabbed onto my wrists and he had quite a lot of strength. It was quite hard to break his wrists off. So again, I just wanted to get it to the ground. So I let him spoil on me. He grabbed the headlock, which I knew he didn't have, but was super tight. There was no way he was gonna guillotine me from there. So I just sat on the side for a bit and I was just being patient. So again, I'm sitting here being patient. He comes up to his knees, so I thought, no, I can't have that, I can't have him build up a base, so I just managed to roll him back over. I thought about the flong flu choke. I sort of started pushing on there, putting a bit of pressure, but then decided not to. I thought, oh, I'll go, go to mount. So as you can see in a little while, 
I ended up going to mount for a bit, but again, he was still managed to hold it on really tight, which I was quite surprised. I'll give him his dues, he was a strong lad. So he's got it on pretty tight there. I was thinking, oh, as soon as he gets out of this, I could maybe go for like some sort of Kamal or something like that, but he rolled straight to his back. Now, again, I don't know how well you can see, but I was actually laughing here because as soon as I got his back, I realised I could pull the head up and then sink the choke in. But he was quite explosive and I didn't manage to get the hook in. So as he pulled me over, I loved the armbar anyway, so I went for the armbar. Now here, I had the armbar locked, although you can't really see it too well. It's actually pretty tight here. I weren't really yanking it on, but I had him pretty tight. So, again, he tries to adjust, I managed to roll him over. Now, I hold on to with one arm, and I look at him, and I say, do you have enough, you're gonna tap? And he said, no. So then I just put the pressure on a little bit, and then he tapped out straight away. Yeah? What? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So, it just goes to show, you could be a young, strong bloke, but, Unless you've got a, a bit of experience and a bit of training, you're, you're, just, you're not going to do that well against someone who's trained. I mean, I am, my jiu-jitsu is not the best anyway. For MMA, I was a lot better at my stand-up. I'd always try and prefer to keep the fighting standing up. Even though I have won a fight by armbar, I don't mind the armbar on the ground, but I'm not necessarily known for groundwork. And even then, I was going playful, there was absolutely no striking involved or anything like that. Don't get me wrong, like I said, he was a strong kid, so if there was striking involved, maybe he could have gone his way, especially if he had a bit of boxing and it started off on the feet with the striking. But then again, I've got the tie boxing background, so I could have landed a lot of leg kicks and stuff like that, which he wouldn't, again, wouldn't have known how to, how to defend. But... I just thought I'd share that on, on here, um, he was completely fine afterwards, I didn't hurt his arm, like I said, I had it locked in place, I just put a little bit of pressure, just enough pressure to make sure he tapped out, and as soon as he tapped out, it was all okay, so it's all good. I think he felt quite humble, and I actually gave him an invite to come train properly, because like I said, he was young, he was fit, he was strong, he did gas out, which a lot of people who don't even if they're quite fit but don't necessarily train in jiu-jitsu, gas out pretty quickly with the wrestling. He didn't seem too tired, so he has got a lot of potential. So hopefully he'll end up coming down and doing some bit of training. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. If you want some proper MMA tips, then click the link over here and check out this video.